One of the greatest things about America is that no matter how crazy things get, no matter how much you disagree with that other guy, you always knew that you were in the same boat together. And then comes Mitch McConnell. As we look across this boat that we call our ship of state, we might notice some conservatives sitting there. Now, now, I like conservatives. Why, Jeff? Why? Because they hold dear so many of the cherished ideals that go back to the founding of this republic. Say, for example, limited government. Yes, they had just rebelled against the king. And if you read Thomas Jefferson's Declaration of Independence, sexy stuff that, his first complaint is that the king thinks he's above the law. The conservatives would never countenance a president who thinks he's above the law, who would blithely ignore subpoena after congressional subpoena, cheerfully break law after law just because he thinks he can. Let us and moi, I am the state. No, they would never support a president like that. Mitch, Mitch, what happened? You used to be the archest defender of these cardinal virtues of the of the conservative movement in the Senate your 36 years. Oh, Mitch, when did you become Donnie's bitch and why? <coughs> Another cardinal virtue of the conservative movement is fiscal prudence, right? Because we here on the left are the mommy party. We're just tax and spend liberals, you know, giving medicine to, to sick children, giving food to the poor, and I don't know, maybe gold-plated Cadillacs to convicts. Why? Because it's in the common good, right? Yes. No, 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 the daddy party. They make the hard fiscal decisions, the prudent decisions, so that we can have, we can husband, hear the male language, husband those resources for that rainy day. Well, guess what? It's raining. It's raining in the Midwest and there's going to be flooding just like there was flooding down south in the spring. And is there any money in the till to help those poor beleaguered communities? Why no? Because daddy party is starting to resemble daddy went on a binge party and has yet to crawl out of the bottle party with that $1.5 trillion tax cut which gutted the till. Mitch, Mitch, you used to be the arch defender of these conservative principles in the Senate. What happened? When did you become Donnie's bitch? And why? And then there's that conservative principle of engagement with the world through a mixture of strong defense and vibrant trade. Yes, we here in the left wing, we tend to retreat into our own little fantasy world that if we only all held hands and saying kumbaya, we could throw away the nukes forever. But no, no, then an Osama bin Laden shows up, brings down the two towers and kills 3,000 Americans, or al-Baghdadi shows up in the Middle East blowing it up because, hey, he can. Conservatives understand that. But Don is pulling back on all of our military commitments, and now al-Baghdadi has come out of hiding to make war again. Thank you, Donnie. And what about trade? Oh, well, what about Trump's tariffs? Mitch, Mitch, where are you? You used to be the strongest defender of conservative principles in the Senate your 36 years. Oh, Mitch, when did you become Donnie's bitch? And why? <coughs> So what is it, Mitch? Why did you throw overboard the sanctity, the safety of this country, all so that Donnie could see himself on TV? Why, Mitch? Is it because you wanted to be Senate Majority Leader one more time? Is it that office you have with that glorious view? Is that what it is, Mitch? Is that why you threw us all overboard? Well, I guess as we look across the boat that we call the ship of state, we can see that we have a Jonah with us. And there's Mitch at the bottom, pulling the cork out from the very bottom of the boat, watching the waters bubble up around us. That's okay, Mitch, we understand. It's the view, right, from your office? It's really spectacular. Thanks for watching my video. If you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. Just click on that red box below. I want to keep you laughing.